So we'll use a release drill circuit. I think if you're going to take anything out of today, this is the one for receiver drills that you might like. All right. So we're going to see it, and we're going to set our guys up X, W, Y, Z, or however many receivers you have on the sideline. So we're going to use the lines on the field. All right. So this is the sideline that you have. All right. That's going to be your yard line, yard line, yard line, yard line. You're going to have dudes in the line here, and then one guy here, or press. Okay. Uh, and from there, and this is how we're going to set these drills up. Now, the ideal is we're going to use those lines for a reason. We don't have a line today, but that's okay. But that's going to get us there. If we're running routes, we want to stay in the line. The first route we're going to talk about is uh, a fade. Right? So if we're running a fade, and if we start on the line, we want to end on the line. Right? So the easiest way, we're going to say the ball is here. All right? The ball is going to be here in the middle for all these guys. We're in doubles. If he's on the line and he's in man-to-man, -man, he's in a mirror technique. All right, so Jeff's with me. I'm the receiver. Ball's inside. All right, I'm going to take an outside release. I know that 100% of the time. All right, he's on the line. So my first step off the ball has to be here. All right, has to be here. And we're going to get a 45 because as soon as I go here, what's his job? Well, coach, the defense has to stay hip-to-hip -hip on man-to-man. -man. All right, so he's going to do what? Come in, right? And as soon as he does that, my line is still out here. I'm going to push vertical until I get to him, and then I'm going to make something happen and get there. All right? But I know by that stem, and that's what we're talking about off technique, all right, I'm here, all right, I'm here. He's going to stem, boom, two, he's off the line. I'm getting there. He shows hands. I can rip, and I'm right back on my line. All right? He thinks he did his job, but in reality, he set us up. So again, the route, as far as how we're taking a look at it, he should be stemming here, getting vertical, getting around him, and then at the end, get him stacked. All right, at the end, get him stacked. We'll work this drill once a week, all right, especially if we're seeing man to man. All right, so again, we're here, we're going to work that stack, boom, 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 he's here, bam, we get through, all right, we'll talk about rib punch, things of that sort, and then when he comes in a trail, if we're trailing and Jeff's still inside, that's a no-go. We want to get here, so when you see that picture from the tight, Jeff and I are hip to hip on the back side of things, and he can't ever work through me. If your quarterback throws it short, that's not a receiver problem, that's a quarterback problem. Okay, uh, going from there as we take a look at it. So again, that's when we start working off. Now, what's the question? He's man, so Jeff and I, all right, and he's going to be man to man, and we're going to do this. You know what's going on, he knows what's going on. All right, it's about to go down. You're going to tighten up your stance a little bit. And again, one of the reasons I talked about, you want to keep your wrists, a bit of his wrists. So he's a defensive back. Ideally, your, hopefully receivers are taller than those defensive backs. I hope that's a problem that you have. That's a good problem. And so naturally, the defensive back is not going to sit up here like this. He doesn't know that. All right, so his hands are going to be somewhere. Put them wherever you want to put them. All right, so we're going to just work hands right away. And what's the defense going to try to do in man to man? Get to my chest, right? He's going to try to get there. So as soon as he does it, go ahead. All right, I'm going to hammer him down. All right, I'm going to hammer him down however you want to do it. All right, understand if your wrists are above it, we'll always go ahead. So I go and try to lock in. Be good. Be physical. I'm okay. All right, I can't get him out, right? Now do it the other way. Get underneath me. Engage. Go ahead. Push. All right, I can take him off. All right, I might have to give up some room man to man, but that's okay. But I can always chop down. I'll be able to break his hands. And this is where we become physical and aggressive. You can't always chop up. All right, so we'll work that first release, and we're here, and all he does is shoot hands, and I'll go here, boom, okay, boom, boom, and start working whatever I'm working. Now, on the flip side of things, we're going to talk about punching through. Some guys want to swim. You saw one of our guys swim. I tell them, if you swim, you better damn know what you're doing. All right, you better know what's going on, because the biggest fear is as soon as we swim, he gets underneath me, I'm off my route, and it really sucks. But what, what we teach is we're going to punch or rip. Now understand a couple things. Uh, these guys have habits from when they're three years old, playing a receiver and doing whatever and seeing some stuff. They're going to do whatever's natural. But for a kid that doesn't, he shows hands, boom, I'm going to punch. And as soon as I punch, right, I get his shoulders turned. So it's here, punch, boom, I'm going to take that step. As soon as that steps through, my elbow is going right to his kidney. All right, and he's going to be my propel, and I'm going to start working stuff through. Again, obviously we over-exaggerate, but it's a simple drill. It's not running 40 yards, so one more time here. Boom, here, bam, 
and I'm out the gate, and we want that elbow in the back of his kidney so he can propel himself off, because as soon as he does that, he gets stacked. If he doesn't do it, he's off here, he can turn, and a good defensive back is going to be able to recover and do all that sort of stuff. So we see it, and we take it. Now, why do we bunch stance? All right, and this is something that we, we learned over time and do that stuff. Uh, most of these guys are long, right? When we are man-to-man, -man, the first step is going to be here. Okay, so we're even, all right? So if we bunch step, our first step can be here to get him off the line. It can be here, or it can be here if you want it to be. Right, but you have to attack his technique because most of the time you've got to see what that defensive back is doing. Right, those defensive backs at times are either going to be aggressive players and go after it, or they're going to be a shuffle player. All right? One thing we teach on man-to-man -man is foot fire. So we'll do the same drill, all right? and we're going to teach foot fire, boom, 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 and he's not going to do anything until his, his hands move. All right? And again, I don't have a good representation of it because I'm not very good at this, all right? but we can get you some when we film it. All right? We usually don't film this drill. But we're sitting here, boom, and I'm going to foot fire. As soon as he hands are go, I'm going to be gone. Because what's that defensive back do? He gets antsy, right? You're supposed to collision. He's taught something. Whatever he's taught, you see it on film. All right? So you get a collision. As soon as you foot fire, his hands go, boom, I'm out the gate, and I'm doing whatever it is. All right? You can punch. I like punching. You can rip. All right? That's our second. If you swim, just do what you're doing. Right? That's the big thing for us and what we're doing and how we're taking a look at it. And we'll work it. Ideally, we tell him to stay in the line. All right, stay in the line. Now, let's talk about slant. Okay, let's talk about slant. The ball's inside. Let's move down here. All right, the ball's inside. It doesn't make sense for me to come inside with him if I'm running the slant. This is something where we may differ. All right, we're going to stem him outside. We're going to stem outside. He opened up his hips. One, two, three. Bam. And I just open up that window to my slant route. All right, if I come inside, what's he do? Flattens me out. And now I'm just, there's no technique involved. There's no top of the route. There's nothing. All right, so again, you're going to play games with them, and that's where you see it. Where do I show our guys? All right, I show our guys some former players. Obviously, Huddle's great with that. We get online, and we Google stuff, just like everyone else does. Wide receiver drills. All right, Jerry Rice. Yeah, he's pretty good. Do that. Now, uh, we want him to do it. Just like I think if, at your guys' level, if you want to get some stuff from us, hey, if you want to be a college player, this is what they're looking for. This is what they want to see. Our guys have dreams to go to the NFL. Will they ever go there? Probably not. All right? We don't want to tell them that until after they're done. <laughs> okay? So we tell them, hey, you do this, you'll be okay. All right? You do this and you'll be okay. You'll do something. Uh, go ahead. I think you're good for now. Any questions on that release drill? And that's going to be pretty simple. Why do we like it? It's in between the sidelines and the hash. It's a 12-yard window. We don't have to run fades for 45 yards to understand technique. Because you guys get tired. Maybe you only have six of them. They get tired. And I know this. If you get tired, your technique goes to hell in a hurry. So work on technique and try to transition it over. Don't make it too hard because it's too hard on you. All right? But you can teach all those different things uh, into those. 